welcome back i am devbrato and you are watching chemistry 12 let's do a quick recap of what we have covered today ethers are alkoxy or aryloxy group derivatives of hydrocarbons they are prepared by dehydration of alcohols and williamson synthesis ethers undergo cleavage of carbon oxygen bond with hydrogen halides alkyl aryl ethers undergo electrophilic substitution reactions like friedel crafts reaction and halogenation after that quick recap it's time for the most eagerly awaited section of the show yes it's time for exam decoded Welcome to exam decoded as usual we will begin with the rapid fire round i will ask you five questions and you will get 5 seconds to answer each one of them spot the correct answer and one mark is yours here is the first question williamson synthesis is used for the preparation of a alkyl halides b alcohols c ethers d aldehydes The correct answer is option C ethers. Next, butane one ol and ethoxy ethane are which type of isomers? A functional group isomers, B metamers, C chain isomers, D geometric isomers. The correct answer is A functional group isomers. Now for the third question. Ethanol on warming with concentrated sulfuric acid at 413 Kelvin gives A ethene B diethyl ether C dimethyl ether D ethyl hydrogen sulfate The correct answer is option B diethyl ether Just two more chances to score Anisole reacts with HI at 373 Kelvin to give A iodobenzene and methanol b iodomethane and phenol c benzyl alcohol and iodomethane d iodoethane and phenol iodomethane and phenol is the correct answer and last but not the least anisole undergoes bromination with br2 in ethanoic acid to form meta bromo anisole is this true or false well This is false. Anisole undergoes bromination with Br2 in ethanoic acid to form para bromo anisole and ortho bromo anisole. So how did it go? Let's see. If you managed a perfect score of 5, then you are our topper high flyer of the day. A score of 3 to 4 makes you an achiever, but anything less makes you a learner. If you want to make a switch from a learner to a high flyer all you need to do is to visit our website www.topperlearning.com and take the series of online tests but let us analyze exam trends on this topic the topic ethers is from the unit alcohols phenols and ethers and has a weightage of 4 marks which makes it an important topic from the exam point of view be prepared to face short answer type questions for 2 to 3 marks each they would typically pertain to the knowledge and conceptual ability mostly you will be asked to explain of mechanisms and identifying the products of reactions like the reaction of ethers with hydrogen halides and the williamson synthesis of ethers here is an example of how to write a perfect answer try this question Identify the products formed in each of the following reactions. A. Methoxy ethane and hydrogen iodide are reacted at 373 Kelvin. B. Ethoxy benzene and HI are reacted at 373 Kelvin. Also, state a reason in each case. The question is worth 2 marks and tests your conceptual ability. For the answer you must write A 
in the first case you can see that the two alkyl groups are ethyl and methyl group both are primary alkyl groups therefore the lower alkyl group forms the alkyl halide so in this case iodomethane and ethanol are formed this step will fetch you one mark b in the second case one of the groups is phenyl and the other group is ethyl since the carbon of the phenyl group is sp2 hybridized this carbon oxygen bond is difficult to break so in this case phenol and iodoethane are formed this step will fetch you another mark i hope that was helpful for more practice on more questions log on to www.topperlearning.com that will ensure you get that extra edge in your exams well it's that time of the day when i say goodbye but before i go here is a food for thought can you tell me what class of compounds give anise seeds their peculiar smell think think i know you have guessed that it is an ether and you are quite right its iupac name is 1 methoxy 4 2 propenyl benzene or you can also call it para propenyl anisole well that's all for today to get more information on this topic log on to www.topperlearning.com and keep thinking till we meet next